Hello, everybody. John here with Havoc Maker Studio. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on. Getting a, getting one of my gloves ready here. Uh, I've been having a lot of technical things. Some medical stuff has popped up. And, of course, searching for employment, some travel. So, um, and a little bit of mental health days. So, I've taken a break. And uh, it was a good break. I almost don't want it to be over. Hey, what's going on, Nam? How you doing today? Um, I almost don't want the break to be over, but it's time to get back to painting on the channel. I have been painting in my off time, working on some difficult commissions. Um, but just been taking a, a break from streaming for like i said a variety of uh, personal and professional and technical reasons oh my god why can't i get these gloves on there's got to be like a, a trick to getting gloves on these uh medical gloves without tearing them maybe baby powder on my hands I wonder if that would do it. Or some uh, Vaseline. Thank you for welcoming me back. Well, it's good to see you too, man. Even though I've talked to you on uh, FMP. Still, it's good to see you. Alright. Well, you know what? That I thought about that, but it says, once Oh, one size fits most hands. Oh, I do have some big hands. Crap. That's, that's probably it. That's probably it. All right, so what am I painting today? Well, if you can't see already, I've got Ghost Rider here, ready to go. Whoops. Might have to zoom out here a little bit so you guys can see him a little bit better. There we go. From Marvel Christ Protocol from Atomic Mass Games. So I've been thinking, um, I've got the original, or not the original, but we've got kind of an amalgamation of. No, I haven't. I haven't played any games in a while, Nam. I've been actively avoid playing games. Uh, I've just been really kind of tuckered out um, and looking for employment has taken priority over playing games and such. Um, but, you know, I look at this model and this is kind of a, it's an amalgamation of his original bike and his 90s look. So um, I'm going to put up a picture here. Now here's his original bike bike that he rode around on uh that i mean mind you i've seen it in different colors i've seen it in that blue that dark blue black they've got there i've seen it in silver and of course this red so it doesn't really the color of the chassis really doesn't matter um but then they also got him in the kind of that 90s edge lord look uh that's his 90s bike um i think this is actually this might not even be johnny blaze here I think this is um, Danny Ketch. I think he was the next... Sol or I know he was... I'm pretty sure it's Danny Ketch. Was the next uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, after Johnny Blaze. Before uh, the current guy. I think uh, Miguel something or other. At any rate. Um, so what I want to do though. Is I really like this color scheme. This uh, dark black and hint, with, uh, not black, dark black, uh, dark black. So this dark blue look. So I think this is what I'm going to go with, even though it's the, a different outfit. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Um, I, I just, I, li I want some more color into the model than what they've got, how they've got them painted. And I know I'm going to get some color with the chassis and the, the gubbins and all the flames, but I, uh, oops, ah, infinite void. There we go. Um, Robbie Reyes. Thank you. Not Miguel. Robbie. I think maybe Miguel was his brother's name. 
because it doesn't his brother like become the car or something or I forget. But Robbie Reyes has already kind of proven to be, in the comics at least, um, probably one of the greatest ghost writers out there. Um, he's he's turned his car into where they could fly in outer space. Um, he has temporarily took over the Silver Surfer's board. Temporarily until Silver Surfer's like, uh-uh, give, <laughs> give me back my surfboard. Um so I think he's kind of like really pushing his ability. So it's really cool what they've been doing with him. But I think I'm going to go with that original blue here. I don't know how it's going to translate too much because he has that thicker jacket on. But eh, I don't care. It's my model. I can do what I want. So to do that, we're going to experiment a little bit. Um, I'm going to start by applying some of this blue black to the model. I don't know what this blue black looks like from uh, the Pro Curl blue black. If it is too dark, which actually I might apply this to the chassis of his motorcycle first to see if it, how dark it is. If it's too dark, I've got this dark gray blue that I can... Um, switch over to I do like this color. These are monument hobbies pro acryl line, so But yeah, I want to get this guy built nom and built and painted and then um, Soon as I'm hopefully employed the next week. I got a couple Places that have been actually checking my references So I'm hoping that means I'll be getting an interview soon um that uh, there's a, I want to be able to get Doctor Strange and Wong. I've already got Valkyrie. I just need to get her built and painted. Um, and then just wait for um, Iron Fist and Power Man or Luke Cage. I think they'll just go by Luke Cage, go with his newer look. And then I'll have finally have my, the team that I want, which is the Defenders. So, yay. All right, so let's see what this blue this almost i'll tell you what this bl blue black is almost looking like dark reaper the dark reaper paint from citadel almost but let's, we'll find out what have you been working on nom glad I did this I'm glad I did this instead that would not have been a good a good dark blue
Hmm. Oh no, I got rid of my pictures. Oh well. Oh well. We're just gonna go ahead and keep powering through this. My overall goal will be to paint the model first, obviously, <laughs> but I mean, uh, paint everything, including the flames, and then go back in and worry about um, object uh, uh, lights, ob uh, worry about the light source, the way that the, uh, I can't use my words today, but... Um, the reflections and the flickers of the flames and everything coming off of his uh, um, off the fire off of his head and his bike I'll do I'll add all that after I want to get the bottle the model completed first and then I can go in and tinker with the uh, object so light source or object source light there we go object source light I know how to English Okay. Uh, I know it looks ugly, but it'll come out. It'll work. It'll work. I know it'll work. I hope it's going to work. Because <laughs> um, after that settles, I'm going to dull it down. The, that blue, I'm going to dull it down. Um, I mean, it's going to be shiny right now, but I'm going to darken it up, dull it down, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and deal with the fenders here. taken care of back there and I gotta let that dry a little bit make sure I got that collar is that all flamed right there in his chest yes it is I'm gonna go ahead and make his gloves this darker color thick with the paint but that's okay that's okay or not thick but I know it's not pretty guys I know it's not pretty right now it'll come out okay I really want to get into the flames but I need to wait a little bit Actually, you know what? We can at least try it with some flame so we can get at least get some color in there right now. And then um, I can get back to the rest of the model that'll let some of this dry. Uh, here we go.
All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy on those flames. All right, there's some flames. That was easy, ish. <laughs> I had to be a little hectic there because it's a little bit of wet blending. Well, actually it's a lot of wet blending because I'm using uh, contrast paints to pull off that flame effect. And I've got to work quickly because I can't let it uh, I can't let it dry whatsoever um, I got to keep working with it while it's still wet so I can move it back and forth and get those different kind of more of a natural gradient I know you can go in there with an airbrush and do that but with this um, with how liquidy this is or less vic viscous however you want to put it um, the contrast paints it, it uh, I, I wouldn't want to use, um, what do you call it, an airbrush for this. I know I could have, but my ability with the airbrush is very, very limited right now. I don't have a lot of experience with it. But still, I'm happy with those flames. That's just the first part. You still got to do the flames on his head and on that front uh, tire. It looks like it goes up the axle, front axle, a little bit. All right, now we got some color. Yay! Well, we already got colors, but now we got some big, bright colors. All right, make sure I don't mix my paint waters. Okay. So I think metallic-wise, think metallic-wise, what I'm gonna do probably end up regretting this but it's my model I can do what I want uh, I'm going to use some um, gray knight steel 
from Citadel for all the gubbins, all the uh, uh, mechanical parts of the bike. And then I'm gonna, we'll, we'll address that later. Uh, we'll go from the kind of that shiny blue, almost kind of a chrome look, and then I'll darken that up afterwards. But I'm gonna go in with a nice, this nice rich blue color, blue steel color, and then we'll we'll darken it up, dirty it up, ghost writer it up afterwards. But I think since there's gonna be a lot of blue here, especially some reflective blue, whenever, uh, or we're gonna get some reflective. Uh, colors going on with the flames and stuff I think uh, this almost well this blue steel I think it's actually really ideal for for this venture I am glad to be back in streaming though I missed um, streaming paint I've been doing the still doing uh, FMP war gamers uh, the new show, but I have not been painting on stream for a while, so it's good. To, uh, it is good to be back, even though I did enjoy not doing it too. I can be both. I can do both, <laughs> or feel like both. There's some parts about this, uh, the, the belt and everything here that I'm going to have to later on pull up the um, 3D image that they've got, the, the full 360 view of the model on their uh, website so I can see how they paint the belts. Pretty sure it's not all metallic, <laughs> but I'll worry about that later. I'm gonna go ahead and get this base coat down, and then uh, we can worry about all that later. And do some spot painting just in case I see some spots that I missed. Finish this back tire and then move forward. Forgot about that uh, the hubcap or the not hubcap, but oh gosh, well, I can't think of the name of the inside of the tire. Let's 
It's looking good. I want to tackle the tire, but I've got to wait because there's still some of those flames are still a little bit wet. Now I am going to go back through with some with a brighter yellow paint, an actual acrylic, like a solid acrylic instead of the, the contrast that I did to do the flames. That way I can add in just a few more brighter highlights along the yellow parts of the flames. But we'll get to that in a little bit. I want to give it time to, I need to give that contrast time to dry. I've had a couple people message me like, hey, when I'm going to get back to painting Space Marines? Not for some time. Uh, well, kind. I mean, my uh, the Caradons have got to wait. Um, I am pricing up a commission. I've, I got somebody that wants to buy one of my old armies, but he also wants me to um, add on to it. Well, he's going to give me the models to add on to it and he wants me to paint it in that color scheme so i'm pricing that up so but the carcaridon the community project is going to wait uh, a little bit longer for me to continue i know it's a community project but um, until i am employed again i i have to do my commissions uh to well so i have food and i've got a you know place to place to sleep I got electricity and all that stuff takes takes priority um, but I will be getting back to that project because I've, I've already collected everything I need and uh, I've actually got somebody it's uh, over at uh, perfect chaos productions they are actually working on some 3d models for some Pacific Islander style weaponry um, but with a sci-fi 40k twist to it so I can add it to my uh, add it to the Carcaridons and really give them that Islander feel uh, like a, the Maori or Samoan um, feel to it so it's all coming together I'm just now at a point though that I like to be able to uh, eat and have a <laughs> have a roof over my head, pay my bills. Um, so sorry that I have to put the community project on hold, but it will resume. I promise. I'm not giving that up because I've already started. I'm not going to quit now, especially since it's my last. Uh, space Marine project. Uh, it's the last time I'll do a Space Marine chapter. I mean, I've got, I'm still going to add on to um, to my other chapter that I've got uh, already built and painted. The, goodness, why can't the Iron Snakes? But I am done selling and building brand new chapters. I'm just gonna just add on. I'm very happy with the Iron Snakes. I didn't think I was going to be. And I was, at one point, a little dis, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed that the community uh, voted way long ago uh, for me to do the Iron Snakes. I really wanted to do um, the Fire Lords. But, you know, I went with what the community said. The community wanted, they said I should do that. So I did it. And uh, no regrets. No regrets whatsoever. It actually ended up being one of my favorite projects to paint and build the models and customize and visually very appealing. And it's been, I mean, it's been a while since I've really felt this good about an army. So, um, those aren't going to go anywhere. And of course, the community project's not going to go anywhere. 
All right, so I think that's it for all the metal gubbins. We gotta let a little bit more dry, but we can go ahead and uh, mm, go ahead and slap on a little bit of known oil onto his uniform. Want to go ahead and get that going, and then. We're gonna throw in some white onto his chest, the areas that um, I got the blue on, where his skull, the flames on his skull should be. That way, I can go back through and um, take care of the flaming skull. The reason why I'm using known oil is because it is. I mean, it's a pretty much a universal uh, wash or shade. It really, I mean, you can use it pretty much for almost any color to be, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but it really, since I'm trying to go for that original kind of dark blue Ghost Rider look, as opposed to the more modern day conventional one that they've kind of, or the 90s version that they, that they painted up theirs, the original, or the uh, Atomic Mass games, how they painted theirs. I don't like that, so... So you can see that's darkening it up. It's getting down into those recesses very nicely. It's dulled it down from that blue. What's going on, Chili Con Queso? What's going on, man? Doing a little Ghost Rider action here. Ah. So, and in my rush to do that, I shouldn't have done that yet because I wanted to get, I need to add white to those flames. So I'm going to have to wait for that to dry a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle the tire up front and then hopefully it will be, maybe if I wick this, there we go, if I wick this up a little bit, oops, sorry about that. Um, all right, hopefully by the time I get the front tire just the tire done, not the flames on the tire, but just the tire. Then this back end will be ready for me to do that tire. And that'll be a nice, hopeful, hopefully be a nice contrast to those flames. And just double check in, is the music too loud guys? Or is the music okay? Okay, cool. Um, hey, Chili Con Queso, I don't know if you're still on, but uh, what games are you guys playing this week? Or are you going to be playing this week? Any scary games? Or are you guys going to be doing some more Sea of Thieves? If you guys don't know, Chili Con Queso is a good friend of the channel. He streams uh, playing games, and uh, tell you what, I never thought I would enjoy watching other people play games on a stream. I never really got the appeal until I started watching, and dude, it's 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 entertaining. It's very entertaining because I'm yelling. They can't hear me, obviously. I'm yelling. I'm like, look behind you, behind you. And then, obviously they can't hear me and then uh, by the time that um, I type something there's a like about a 15 second delay 10 to 15 second delay and it's already too late <laughs> like oh it's so stressful but it's fun it's very entertaining 
I don't think I'd want to sit in the room and watch somebody else play. But while I'm here working on stuff, watching them play, very entertaining. Very entertaining. Phasmophobia. Okay. And of course, Sea of Thieves, which... Man, I tell you what, I can't wait until I've got a computer that can handle Sea of Thieves. Because, uh... I will be playing with you guys. I'll be coming back in on that tire to uh, um, put the object source light in there so it's not just black without any reflection coming off those flames. But we're going to build the model up first and then we can go back in and add that detail later. I don't know if that's the right thing to do with this model, but it's the it's the route that I chose to do, so I'm going to stick with it. Oh, ghost hunting. Is that, um, that's a multiplayer, isn't it? Phasmophobia. Getting ready to tackle these flames. Okay, four player. Cool. I thought so because I thought when I was watching it the other night, it I thought you were you're actually talking to somebody else and they were moving around with you. Okay, so about ready to tackle the flames, but first. Time to mess with the uh, the gubbins, gubbins as in the internal engine components here. It's a little orc terminology from Warhammer Forty Thousand, and I'm pretty sure it's some some British saying or terminology. Gubbins. So you can see. We're now, by putting that uh, this known oil down into the recesses here of all that metal that I did, it's very nicely darkening it up and making those colors 
or making the uh, details pop out. So we didn't want the bike to be all chrome. I mean, because that's not really a Ghost Rider thing. But I wanted it a lot more separation than what how they painted it. Because it pretty much... I'm not dissing Atomic Mass Games paint job. Um, they quality work. Very high quality work, obviously. But it just a little too blendy. Uh, I know that's not a term, but it just all kind of blends together and really doesn't... Uh, I don't know, doesn't really show off the model, which is a shame because this is a really nice model. Construction-wise, not great. Uh, this front tire is very, very flimsy. It's got a very small connection point connecting this whole front axle to the, uh, the bike, pretty much right where my brush is pointing. And then you have your hand that's on the handlebars connects to this arm so you don't have a lot of points of contact on on this model and then this chain is very flimsy man I, I'm I have a feeling at some point in the, in the future it is going to break I just don't know when so I'm gonna be doing my best when I transport it to keep it safe but I have to assume it is going to break in the future I probably should have taken measures to reinforce it or swap it out or do something different with it, but I didn't, so I'll have to pay the price now. All right. All right, man, that bike's looking really good now. Boom, boom. I know it's not the sound the bike makes, but it's more like vroom vroom. All right. What time is it? Wow, I've been on for an, almost an hour. Still got to go in and mess with the, uh, the all the clothing, but right now we're just having fun with everything else. Clothing can come a little later. those hell flames going Faster, faster. Uh, let that dry a little too long. Almost looks like he's got some Goku hair going on there.
All right. Check out those flames. Woo woo. Dude. Oh my god. Those flames are badass. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Spirit of Vengeance. Oh my gosh, man. I really enjoy it. I need, st I need more models with flames. I'm really digging painting flames lately. I, I painted somebody's, uh, they had a fire dragon, something or other from uh, Age of Sigmar, and I painted up the, all the flames and the scales on it. Oh my god, it just looks so much fun. I mean, fire is not fun, but you know what I mean. Thank you, thank you. Now you have to be honest with me. Just because I'm excited doesn't mean you have to agree with me. If they, if you don't like the flames, let me know. See you later. Have a good night, Chili Con Queso. I'll see you uh, this week on your channel. I'll be watching. Alright. Uh, what to do with that skull? Might not be the smart thing to do, but we're going to do it. We're going to do some Agrax Earthshade in there. So we got some warm. So it'll be kind of warm. A warm matching. Now I'm going to brighten that I'm gonna brighten that skull up, but I wanted to be able to get that down in the recesses to uh, show off the details and whatnot. Then we'll go back through with some white. Bull titanium white and uh, tinker some more. That skull up front is actually metallic. And that light below. Is that a light below? Oh. What the heck? Oh, I got the wheel. Oh, I got that wheel. The This frame down is supposed to be up. Um, stuck out a little bit higher. The angle needs to be come up about another 15 degrees oh well whatever whatever but it needs to be this metallic color so and then there's a the light underneath because this little ball thing underneath here is supposed to be a light so we'll fix that well not the model but we'll get that painted up and taken care of
The Flames of Perdition. Thank God for cameras because it's letting me see some areas that I missed with some paint. There we go. Got to do something about those boots. And we got to think of a blue that I can maybe dry brush in. This might be a mistake, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're doing it. deal with my regrets later. All right. Not using the really the best brush for this, but I don't have another dry brush in reach and I want to do this now. heavy-handed there a little too heavy-handed shoot balls that's all right that's all right we'll let that dry then we could doll it down well it looks worse on the camera than it does here which I know sounds weird we're still gonna doll it down I think the boots just need to be black.
shoot, shoot. Alright, what time is it? Alright, one. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. Wait, what? In about an hour and 15 minutes ish, we've got almost this entire model painted. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, this whole time I've been holding this model and I've got this extra large paint handle here. God dang it. Ah. <sighs> Alright, well I think that's actually going to be it for tonight. I've got, uh, I've been sitting here, I've got a little notification from a law firm that I had applied for. And they sent me a questionnaire. I'm assuming that's what that is there. So I could get set up for an interview. So I want to go and do that because I need employment. Not that I don't mind, not that I don't want to hang out and chat with you guys, but John needs a job. So, we will probably resume this gent. Today's Monday, so I'm probably going to, I will hold off, you know what, because I like you guys. I'm going to hold off on finishing painting him, and we will tackle him, the rest of him, on Wednesday. And then we'll get into the object uh, source lighting uh, how they were going to get all the different reflections all over the chassis and the chains, um, everything like that. How we're just going to splatter it on there. We're not going to overwhelm it because I don't want to pull away from the, the flames that we've got going on. But um, I do want to be able to get some of it going. Um, so, with that said, my name is John. This is Havoc Maker Studio. I really super appreciate everybody... Um, that is watching now, will watch later, uh, especially when I get this up on YouTube. I am back in the saddle. Uh, we are going to be painting. I, we, I am going to be painting more and more and more. And more to come, guys. More to come. Uh, I appreciate you guys putting up with me being off the air for the past two weeks. I really appreciate it. I Trust me when I say it was necessary. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I'll see you Wednesday, either on FMP Wargamers in the morning or here, 7.30 p.m. on Havoc Maker Studio. I'll see you guys later.